hello in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can perform insert operation using oop in php so first of all i have one database named noble underscore testing now i am going to create one table with two field i will show you everything now here i am going to create two column f name and ct then here 100 100 and I am going to save this table ok so our table is ready f name and city now here first of all we have to create one form date form name form 1 addson method post and now we are going to take table tr td for a good designing enter f name td input type test name f name now enter city and i am going to take name city now we need one button so td equals pan2 then align center and now we need input type submit name submit one and we need value insert and table line center ok so i am going to run this program and you can see we have only simple two text box and one button ok now first of all we need to create class so i am going to create class we are going to take class name is dbcon it, it is known as db connection now i am going to take your function construct it is known as constructor now here in this function we are going to perform database connect like mysql connect and mysql select db because construct when we call this db con function on that time construct call automatically so we are we take here construct now here we are going to perform localhost root and password is blank or we are going to perform your die operation if we are getting any error then now we are going to perform here mysql select db our database name is noble underscore testing you can see here our database name is noble underscore testing so i take here noble underscore testing ok now we are going to create one function insert underscore table one and here you can see in our table we have two parameter f name and city two columns so we are going to pass here two parameter dollar f name and dollar city now here we are going to perform insert operation mysql query insert into table one and here our column name f name city then we have to pass values in these values we have to pass dollar f name and dollar city and now we have to do here return dollar res okay so our class is created now when user press this button submit button on that time we need to call this class so first of all i start php and going to write here if is set dollar underscore post submit one and now here we have to call our class dollar c1 is equal to new db card you can see here our class name is dbc1 so i call here dbc1 now here we are going to take uh, these two text box value into variable so dollar f name is equal to don't underscore post 
f9 now i am going to take second variable dollar ct is equal to do underscore post and ct okay now we call here dollar c1 and insert underscore table 1 and here we have to pass two parameter dollar f name dollar ct now what happen uh, when we uh, write this line so we are going to call this our function uh, sorry our class then when we call our class on that time this turn start call automatically so our database turn it to my student and my student select db run then when we are going to call this insert table one and pass two parameter f name city then what happen this f name will pass here this city will pass here and call here insert into table one f name city and values dollar f name dollar city so the main advantage is that now whenever you want to um, insert operation in this table one then you have to pass only this you don't have to write insert query you don't have to do my net my sql select db whatever you have to just call this single line now we are going to check this will work or not i am going to here op test op name and test op city now i am going to press this insert button and i am going to check here we can see here we get here our record test op name test op city so this way we can perform insert operation in my next video i am going to show you how you can perform select operation then next video update operation next video delete operation and many more so please uh, for this all database trinity watch my whole video thank you so much for watching my video